Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the water inlet valve on your refrigerator. This particular one has three solenoids on it and two outlets. The smaller quarter inch outlet is for the ice maker and it has a separate solenoid to power that. The larger 5 16 outlet is for the water dispenser and it has a solenoid to operate that as well. The third solenoid on this valve is redundant and is not used in this particular case. There's also an inlet port with a little protective cap on it to connect to your water supply. It's a relatively easy job to replace this. Let us show you how. Now to do this repair we will need access to the back of the refrigerator so we're going to pull it forward and we'll also need to turn off the inlet water supply. Now that we've disconnected the inlet water supply we'll next remove the screws that secure that back panel Then just tilt it away and lift it open. Now the water valve is secured to the cabinet by a single quarter inch hex head screw. So we're going to remove that next so we can pull it out enough to disconnect the tubing. Just unhook that little tad from that hole on the side of the frame and there should be enough tubing and wire harness there to pull that out far enough that we can access everything. Now we'll want to remove the inlet tube that comes from the water filter and using either a adjustable wrench or a 9 16 wrench in this case we'll just loosen that nut There will probably be some water in that tube, but it's not under pressure. So you just need something to clean up. Now next we can remove the wire harnesses from the solenoids. And just move those out of the way. Now to remove the tubing from the valve body, we're just going to depress that little collar, push it tight up against the valve body, and then pull the tubing out. We can then discard the old valve. Now before we install the tubing into the new valve, we'll want to inspect the old tubing and just check the exterior of it and if there's any signs of any damage to it, we'll want to cut that a nice square cut using a nice sharp razor knife. Just make sure that we have a nice square cut. Do the same for both pieces of tubing. So next we just need to insert that tubing into the valve, push it all the way in until it bottoms out, and just give it a little pull backwards to lock that collar in place. And we'll reconnect the wire harnesses.
and carefully tuck the valve and the tubing into the cabinet. Make sure we engage that hook into the side of the cabinet. And then reinstall the mounting screw. Be sure that you tuck that water tube for the ice maker in behind that mounting bracket. And next we'll remove that protective cap on the inlet. And make sure that the tubing that goes up to the filter is in good shape. Fit that all the way into that inlet until that flange meets the top of the housing. And then we'll thread that nut back on. Once we have that tight, we suggest that you reconnect the inlet water supply and then just test the dispenser to make sure that we have no leaks at either the outlet or the inlet to that valve. Once we've done that, we can put the back cover on. Tuck the bottom of the cover in that channel and then reinstall the screws. We can now push the refrigerator back into the cabinets and our repair is complete.